again, Christy is on him. Bryant will fire the two. Book it. Got it. Foul on the play. Kobe is giving them the business. He is literally taking this game over. Here's Bryant. Oh, got the screen. Takes it in. The hammer. Kobe Love. Look at that. And Kobe Bryant slamming the door on Sacramento with that play there in a 48.16 rebound performance. Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, the dominant forces in this game. Unstoppable in the playoffs. Plowing through the Blazers. Up 3-0 on the Kings. Can anyone stop the Lakers? A look at the California State Capitol, the city of Sacramento, ready for playoff basketball. And we're inside a very loud Arco Arena for the game four starting lineups. Here's the Kings public address announcer, Scott Moak. Wishing you a happy Mother's Day as we're coming to you from a Rockin' Arco Arena in Sacramento. The home fans want to see this series extended. The Lakers trying to complete the sweep of the Kings. With Clark Kellogg and Mike Vergello, this is Kevin Harlan. The duo of Shaq and Kobe Mike looking to close this round out. Kobe and Shaq combining for over 65 points per game in this series. Torching the Kings. Sacramento coach Rick Adelman has no answers. Then again, no one in the NBA does. So Clark, that is the question. Who can stop Shaq and Kobe and these defending champion Lakers? Well, partner, 14 straight wins for L.A. They haven't lost in over a month. The role players have been huge as well. Rick Fox defensively, Horace Grant on the glass, Derek Fisher orchestrating and running the point. L.A. running on all cylinders. System, go. 
Of the defending NBA champion Lakers, it's Derek Fisher and the great Kobe Bryant in the backcourt. Defensive specialist, Rick Fox. The experienced Horace Grant at the forward. And the big man in the middle, Shaquille O'Neal. He is torching Sacramento in this series. And for the three-seeded Kings, Jason Williams running the point. Joined by Sacramento stopper, Doug Christie at the two. Sharpshooter, Pacius Diakovic is the small forward. And the Kings all-star, Chris Webber and Buddy Divac round out their five. And it's Shaquille O'Neal with the foul. That's his first foul. The Lakers up in this best of seven series, three games to none. Los Angeles winning games one and two in Staples Center. Shaq was dominant in each win. And less than 48 hours ago here in Sacramento, Kobe still in the show on a 103-81 win for the Lakers. Sacramento really struggling from the floor in this series. Yes. Well, the big story in this one, as we've told you, Kobe Bryant flying home between games three and four. And for the inside scoop, let's go to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Kobe leaving the team for personal matters. Immediately after game three, he flies privately back home to Los Angeles. Bryant was not his normal bubbly self today. He could take that out on the Kings. Kevin? Hey, Mike. Kobe is always, David, under the microscope tonight. A three off for the Kings. They only made one triple in all of game three. And Clark, just an incredible series so far for Shaquille O'Neal. How about this, Kevin? Averaging 36 and 20 so far. The Kings absolutely have no answer for him. I think he's trying to do too much. He's not playing within himself. Two fouls in less than a minute. He's got to turn it back a little bit, dial himself down. Or he's checked in for Horace Grant. Now, here is Siakovich. Christie can't make it. And Robert Ory on the floor coming off the bench. As clutch as they come, Mike. Winning a couple titles with the Rockets. Hitting some huge shots. His leadership is big for this Lakers team. Clark zero down the Lakers are the hottest team right now in the NBA, including the end of the regular season. They are on a very long winning streak. Well, the numbers say it all. I mean, 14 straight wins, Kevin. Most of those wins in blowout fashion. When the Lakers are fully healthy, this is a scary, scary team. And Mike, remember, Chris Webber is gutting it out tonight, playing on two, not one, two sprained ankles. He's been nowhere close to 100% this series. Kudos to C. Webb for not complaining about it. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And, you know, Stojakovic is one of the sweetest shooting forwards in the game. I mean, you feel like every shot he takes is going to make. And the Lakers making a change here. Madsen's checked in. Coach fresh off a career playoff high of 36 points. Kobe Bryant looking for another big game here in Sacramento. Doug Christie has the assignment. And what a difficult one that is. Kobe's cooking. Dating back to the regular season, nine straight games with more than 20 points. Part of what makes Chris Webber impressive is his mix of physicality and instinct. He can read the floor to find the best way to apply his power. Fox. And again, no good by the Lakers. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. And that's out of bounds. Sacramento will retain possession. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Williams dishes to Stojakovic. To the middle, here's Divac, and it's Divac with the jam. A superb passer at his position. Weber genuinely enjoys sharing the rock with his teammates. The Lakers off to a slow start. Searching for their first points of the game. Might be agree the biggest storyline for the Sacramento Kings is this Chris Weber's last game as a king. He's a free agent. Will he resign? Will Chris return? Most reports are that he's gone. And that'd be a shame. The Kings have built something. They have a really bright future. It's been the focus for this franchise. So the Lakers call timeout their first. Jackson, he's checked in for Jason Williams. Two and a half minutes gone here in the first. 
No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And right now, I think he's ready for this quarter to be over. I don't know if I've ever seen him this cold. Rough quarter indeed. Here's Fisher. Los Angeles with another miss. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. Here's Stojakovic. Good piece of Stojakovic. Stojakovic second to Tracy McGrady in most improved player voting. And he has been a little bit off the mark this series, under par for him. The Kings have to get more. Mike, coming into tonight, Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal combining for just about 66% of the Lakers scoring this series. This is as good a combo as we've ever seen. Shaq and Kobe are still in their 20s. The Kings making a switch here. Turkaloo's checked in. And Mike, a welcome sight for Phil Jackson. Ron Harper able to play tonight. Ron was on the three-peat Bulls teams in the mid-90s under Phil. The Lakers up in this best of seven series, three games to none. Los Angeles winning games one and two in Staples Center. Shaq was dominant in each win. And less than 48 hours ago here in Sacramento, Kobe stealing the show in a 103-81 win for the Lakers. Sacramento really struggling from the floor in this series. Yes. Well, the big story in this one, as we told you, Kobe Bryant flying home between games three and four. And for the inside scoop, let's go to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Kobe leaving the team for personal matters. Immediately after game three, he flies privately back home to Los Angeles. Bryant was not his normal bubbly self today. He could take that out on the Kings. Kevin? Hey, Mike. Kobe is always, David, under the microscope tonight. With the defending NBA champion Lakers, it's Derek Fisher and the great Kobe Bryant in the backcourt. Defensive specialist, Rick Fox. The experienced Horace Grant at the forward. And the big man in the middle, Shaquille O'Neal. He is torching Sacramento in this series. And for the three-seeded Kings, Jason Williams running the point. Joined by Sacramento stopper, Doug Christie at the two. Sharpshooter, Pesha Stiakovich is the small forward. And the Kings all-star, Chris Webber. And Buddy Divac round out their five. Coach, fresh off a career playoff high of 36 points. Kobe Bryant looking for another big game here in Sacramento. Doug Christie has the assignment. And what a difficult one that is. Kobe's cooking. Dating back to the regular season, nine straight games with more than 20 points. And Mike, remember, Chris Webber is gutting it out tonight, playing on two, not one, two sprained ankle. He's been nowhere close to 100% this season. Kudos to C. Webb for not complaining about it. And Clark, just an incredible series so far for Shaquille O'Neal. How about this, Kevin? Averaging 36 and 20 so far. The Kings absolutely have no answer for it. Now, here's Webber after Shaquille O'Neal's miss. Chris and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Nice job by Christie staying under control with the defender all over him. First trip to the line for him here. And Christie drops them both. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the strike. He's going to cash in more than not. Well, Clark, you got to give these young Kings owners credit. Since taking reins of this franchise two years ago, they have certainly brought excitement here to Sacramento. And Kevin, not just excitement, but since they took over, the Kings are on their best run since they came out west. Thank you. 
Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Williams passes to Devots. Now here is Weber. Back to Devots. Shoots over Shaq. Devots, that's good. Devots has got his second bucket of the night. Tell you what, looks to me like they're trying to crack this door open. Yeah, they've got the momentum. Can they separate now? Pull the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Boy, the shot contest did not bother Kobe at all that time. So poised under pressure. Pass to Christie. And here's Weber. He's covered by Grant. Too long in the paint, and he's hit with a three-second violation. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And so he hits the technical free throw. What's so impressive about Stojakovic is how lethal a shooter he is, and he's somebody that rarely misses from the charity strike. Hito Turkoglu has checked in for Sacramento. Jackson comes in for Jason Williams. Now here's Turkoglu. Let's it go from the wing. And no good that time. Obi and Shaq still in their 20s, Clark, but with a title under their belt. This could be one of the all-time duos in NBA history. With that in mind, who are some of the other great tag teams you've seen? Well, you can start right with the Lakers, Kevin. I mean, Wilt and Jerry West. How about more recently in the 80s, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Magic Johnson, Stockton and Malone still going at it in a strong fashion in Utah. I'd also throw Bird and McHale in Boston in the mix as well. Aggressive drive from Fox. He understands when to attack the cup. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. And there's the three-second call, this one on the defense. This trip is his second to the free throw line in this one. And the technical free throw is good. And the Lakers making a change here. Warriors check in. Bryant against Djokovic. Over Bryant. And once again off the mark by Sacramento. You know, during this title defense for the Lakers, Clark, both Shaq and Kobe have... Man. Oh, my! What a point! Uh -huh. And Robert Ory on the floor coming off the bench. As clutch as they come, Mike. Winning a couple titles with the Rockets, hitting some huge shots. His leadership is big for this Lakers team. Pass to Weber. And here's to Djokovic. Back to Weber. And it's a defensive three-second violation. The Kings have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. And he shows the focus there. Nails the technical. And the Kings making a change here. Christie's checked in. The Lakers also with a sub. Shaw's checked in. 153 left to play in the first. To the paint. Here's Turkaloo. And the foul called on Kobe Bryant. That is his first foul of the game. Jackson with it. He has yet to score. Weber kicks to Turkoglu. And the rookie Turkoglu gets it to go, Mike. Great to see Hedo play better this series. In round one against the Suns, Turkoglu went just one for 15. But he's adjusted to play off basketball this round. In the other Western Conference semifinal series last night, Clark, Dallas in a similar situation as the King. They won a game four at home to extend that series. And they can thank Dirk Nowitzki for that 30 points carried the Mavericks. Dallas looked dead in that series, but they have now forced a game five. Sacramento going to try to do the same. Here's Jackson after the basket by the Lakers. 
Barber outside. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. He's made all three of his free throws so far. And so he hits the technical free throw. Pollard, he's checked in for Stojakovic. And then for Los Angeles. Manson comes in for Shaq, and it's Harper in for Fox. There's 53 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Jackson passes to Pollard. Oh, that's blocked. So much size. Glory, definitely an imposing figure on the defensive side. Mike, coming into tonight, Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal combining for just about 66% of the Lakers scoring this series. This is as good a combo as you've ever seen. Shaq and Kobe are still in their 20s. The shot and game clock separated by four. Shoots from the high post. Again, Los Angeles. Hadn't seen this in Matson's game, but I'll tell you what, the mid-range jumper looks good there. Pass to Pollard. That's good, and it's Jackson with the assist that time. Kobe against Jackson. Bryant, and the Lakers tack on two more. The handles Kobe has are outrageous. You can tell how much he loves creating for himself. Jackson from long range, and no good on the last second attempt this time. Well, it's been a high-scoring competitive game through the first quarter of play. Kings lead by one. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. Back here in a rocking Arco Arena, maybe the loudest building in the NBA. Enzo Bryant will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They trail by one. Mike, we agree the biggest storyline for the Sacramento Kings is this Chris Webber's last game as a king. He's a free agent. Will he resign? Will Chris return? Most reports are that he's gone. And that'd be a shame. The Kings have built something. They have a really bright future. It's been the focus for this franchise. And Mike, a welcome side for Phil Jackson. Ron Harper able to play tonight. Ron was on the three-peat Bulls teams in the mid-90s under Phil. Had knee surgery. Has only played five minutes all playoffs. The 37-year-old Harper was key to last year's title team. And there's the defensive three-second call. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And the technical free throw is good. Two important things Doug Christie brings to your squad. Defense, shooting. A hard-nosed type of player. Here's Jackson. Again, Sacramento. Another stellar offensive game from Kobe Bryant. Mike already in double figures. Bryant has just destroyed the Kings in this series. You can't throw double teams on him with Shaq out there. I like to see Turkle put it on the deck and take the ball to the rim. Good attack right there. The Lakers. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> and the amazing moves, folks. Skillfully handling that rock and creating some space for himself. Inside. And the basket by Thunderbird. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. Here's Shaw. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. A heady player. Shaw reads the defense effectively, knowing exactly where he can get his shots. 
Jackson against Harper. Here's Christie. Ori with the rebound. And he can't let that miss either. He just got to come right back and take it again when left wide open. Well, back during the offseason, Lakers legendary player and front office man Jerry West off to Vancouver, taking over another ex Laker player in Mitch Kupchak. David Aldridge has more. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Yes, Jerry left Vancouver for a new challenge to try and build up the young Grizzlies. West has been the lead decision maker for six title teams in L.A. He engineered those massive trades that brought in superstars like Shaq and Kobe. Kupchak took over during the summer. Mitch was Jerry's right-hand man for many years. Those are very big shoes to fill, Kevin. Absolutely, D.A. Mitch's first big move, a four-team trade, netting the Lakers' big man, Greg Foster, and Mike Horace Grant. I love that deal for the Lakers, adding size around Shaq, taking a little pressure off of him. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. And the Lakers with possession here. Trailing by two. Here's Ori. And good. He got the English that time as it falls. Ori's got his second bucket tonight. Superb pass from Fisher. Dependable at finding uncovered teammates. Clark zero down the Lakers are the hottest team right now in the NBA, including the end of the regular season. They are on a very long winning streak. Well, the numbers say it all. I mean, 14 straight wins, Kevin. Most of those wins in blowout fashion. When the Lakers are fully healthy, this is a scary, scary team. What a play by Horace. It's got to be the goggles, right? Lakers shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. And that one misses. And there's veteran forward Horace Grant. The 35-year-old won three titles with the Bulls under Phil Jackson, came over from Seattle in the offseason, and Grant brings a ton of experience, championship-level experience, and really good skill to that front line. That's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Boy, that's textbook defense there. Nice timing to get that steal. Yeah, the opposition has to be careful around him because he's skilled at swiping the rock away. Shaq is checked in for the Lakers. Bryant down low. Defended by Stiakovic. That one goes in. Bryant's got the lead up to two outs for Los Angeles. Hey, Mike, no matter what happens here tonight, this has easily been the best season in Sacramento Kings history. This team has a lot to be proud of, don't you think? 55 wins, a franchise record, winning their first playoff series ever since coming to Sacramento. And with this young roster, I think they're just getting started. And this game has been a teeter-totter. Both teams trading the lead back and forth we go. It's been an evenly matched game so far. Might come down to a buzzer beater at this rate. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. Close games often come down to who makes the big plays on defense. And that is one heck of a rejection right there. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Clark once again, Kobe Bryant just owning this battle with Chris Webber. Exactly, especially games two and three. Kobe has been the better player. If you're Webber, you've got to find a way to step up. Well, this could be a sweep. It's good for Fisher. Derek Fisher missed the first 62 games of the season, and L.A. struggled without him. Since he's been back, they have a 21-5 record. Really a big part of his game. Christie finding the open man here. Now for the first time in two decades, Coach, the NBA did not have a 60-win team during a full 82-game schedule. And you look at the West. Incredible balance. The Spurs with 58 wins leading the way. He had three 40-win teams fail to make the playoffs. Wow. Jason Williams. He's checked in for Sacramento. 139 left in the second quarter. Weber kicks to Williams. To the inside, Stojakovic. Good piece of Stojakovic. Stojakovic second to Tracy McGrady in most improved player voting. And he has been a little bit off the mark this series, under par for him. The Kings have to get more. Superb at penetrating and getting all the way inside. Christian using his length and quickness there. And Fox gets it to go. Really business-like, straightforward approach here. Ignores the hand in his face and knocks the shot down. The 
Kings have been a perfect 8 of 8 at the line. And the first one drops. And Williams drops them both. Hey, Jason Williams is known for being a flashy player, but he also has some substance to that style. He blends the two nicely. A terrific ball handler and one of the most creative passers out there. Kobe getting it done. Just a gorgeous shot that time. Williams in the post. Fisher's there. Shot's good by Williams. Williams has got six points. And Williams' IQ is impressive. He's terrific at sensing when to look to score inside. Here's Grant. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Terrific balance. Gets knocked around and hits it anyway. He knew he had the foul. Figured out a way to get the shot off, and it went in. This is his third trip to the free throw line. You know, just Grant's presence on the floor, I think, is a difference maker because he can intimidate at both ends using a combination of physicality and skill. A nice blend. That dunk right there encompasses the storyline of this game. Oh, it does. Playing with confidence and swagger. Hey, guys, I remember when I could get up like that. Turning defense into emphatic offense. And, Clark, we might see a timeout coming up here. For sure. Yeah, that is the definition of a momentum play. His team is fired up right now. What a move showing off the handles there. Kings leading now by seven. You know, if they manage this clock the way they should, it could be the last possession of the quarter. That has to be the plan here. They want to have the final say in this quarter. Three-pointer, Stojakovic. A three off for the Kings. They only made one triple in all of game three. Here's Fisher again, Los Angeles. You know, whether it's scoring, passing, defending, you can count on Fisher to make a real positive contribution to his team. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. The Kings on top, up by five. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. It is a lazy afternoon on the Sacramento River, but it's a beautiful day in Northern California. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. We're back in California's capital, Sacramento. The Lakers up three games to none in this series. Lakers trail by five. Tell Mike for the second straight year, the Kings and Lakers facing off here in the NBA playoffs. Last year, they went the full five games in the first round. The eighth-seeded Kings putting a scare into the top-seeded Lakers. The Lakers blowing out Sacramento, 113-86 in the deciding game. Clark, you and I were talking with Chris Webber before this game, and obviously he has that big free agent decision coming up. Very interesting that he has already talked with some rivals for advice. Well, C. Webb told us he talked with Shaq about his decision. Remember, O'Neal went from Orlando here to the Lakers. He also talked with Tim Duncan, who stayed in San Antonio, almost going to Orlando. That was absolutely his shot to miss. Plenty of room at the arc, all set up, just couldn't get it to fall. That gives them the lead. Grant's got eight points. These teams just keep trading the lead. Yeah, you know, you wonder what it's going to take for somebody to pull away and take control of this thing. And, Mike, here we are seeing it again. Kobe Bryant just torching the king. All series long, Bryant has been getting his. His diverse offensive game is giving Sacramento fits. Stojakovic with it. Now guarded by Fox. Good ball movement here by the Kings. There's the pass to Stojakovic. And a great assist by Weber as that one goes in. He's got 11. As smooth as they come, shooting the rock. Pages Stojakovic. Bryant, that's for two. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it, and it is good. Kobe's got it all tied up now for the Lakers. Pass to Christie. The tray gets it from three-point range. A super effective shooter from downtown. I like seeing Christie fire away with confidence. Bryant from deep three. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And Kobe Bryant gets the whistle that time. That's his third foul of the game. Oh. 
And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Williams, that's a two-pointer. Clark, Phil Jackson's Bulls, of course, winning six titles in the 90s. And now Phil is in charge of this special Los Angeles Lakers group. With the title under his belt, could this be the team of the 2000s? Absolutely. Without question. I mean, Shaq and Kobe are easily the best one-two punch in the league. I'd put both of those guys in the top eight to ten players in the league. The Zen master might have another dynasty in his hands. And Grant sends it back. Great defense from the big man there. Grant positioning himself perfectly to get the block. Shot clock at two. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Maybe nerves got the better of them there, resulting in a miscommunication. That's not what coach wants to see in a close game. And here's O'Neal. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. It's a three-point game. Shot's good by Kobe. Kobe's got eight points in the quarter. Oh, it's been all Kobe all the time tonight. What a scoring machine. Pass to Thunderbird. Down low, Fox with the steal. Here's Fisher. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Fisher's got six points. Really insisting on getting to the rim, even against great opposition. Sometimes willpower is better than manpower. He just wanted it more. He bats with it. He's picked up by O'Neal. He bats the pass to Thunderbird. And a missed late. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And Fox is a gritty player. He's someone that accepts contact and works through it. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And the Kings making a change here. Turkaloo's checked in. Or he's checked in for the Lakers. Shaw comes in for Derek Fisher. A free throw off from Fox. I think Rick Fox is a terrific example of a blue guy. You put him in any lineup, and he'll find a way to be useful. Boards, passes, points. Anywhere there's a chance to show up, he's there. Basket counts. Or he's got the lead up to three now for the Lakers. Boy, the coach must have lit a fire under them at halftime. Oh, yeah. They've upped the intensity. Playing with passion. Great to see. Christie the pass to Weber. The 19-foot shot. Good. He's got eight. That almost seems effortless for Weber. He finds a mid-range opening and just drills it. And Los Angeles calling timeout. Kobe, just fantastic. He's so excited with his own play. The Lakers in the lead. And Clark Kobe has dominated this scoring matchup with the terrific Chris Webber. It looks like Los Angeles is on their way to a sweep. Kobe's won this matchup all series long, and that's been the key for the Lakers. Here's Christie. He's got 16. Turkaloo passes to Webber. And it's a defensive three-second violation. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. And so he hits the technical free throw. To the wing right side. Lock at six. Bivots a screen on Ori. Christie can't make it. 125 left in the third. And here's Kobe for three. It's good for Bryant. Back-to-back 30-point -back games. Well, the last time the Lakers swept a seven-game series, Clark, you have to go back to the 1989 Western Conference Finals with the Suns. And that Lakers team, Kevin, was led by Magic and Kareem, was undefeated. 
heading into the finals, but the bad boy Pistons shockingly swept the Lakers. Strong move by Fox, taking it right to the defense. Over to the wing. There's 49 seconds left in the third. Weber can't hit. I love how he challenged the shot. That takes some guts near the hoop. Here's Oring driving inside. Count the basket. And now a nine-point Los Angeles lead. What a shot by Ori. Not letting a bump throw him off. Inside, here's Weber, and Weber throws it down. Tell you what, I certainly wish I could get up like him. Man, oh man. You did. I saw it with my own eyes. But wouldn't it be great, Clark, to be young again? Huh? It would be wonderful, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, speak for yourselves. So cool and good to see that activity pay off with a highlight. Yeah, a lot of moving parts, but boy, the finish was terrific. And those live ball turnovers known to create some highlights, don't they? Here's Christie. Out to the wing from about 16, Stiakovic. Wow, came this close to a four-point point. Boy, he'll head to the line for three free throws. Have to be careful how you defend Stojakovic because he's clever at getting foul calls. And both free throws good from Stojakovic. This is what makes him tough. A big guy who can knock him down from the strike. Kobe Bryant getting it done for the Lakers. And his big game just keeps getting bigger. That quarter sees him get over 30 points. We've got more in store for you right after this. We're ready now for the final quarter of play from Sacramento. A wonderful May day here in Northern California. And as we start off this fourth quarter, Mike, Kobe Bryant was just incredible during the final frame of game three. 15 points, four of four from the field. Bryant is a clutch performer. So rare to see a 22-year-old rise to the occasion as consistently as Kobe. Williams passes to Stojakovic. To the left wing, and here's Turkoglu from the arc, buries it from three-point range. He is determined to hunt shots out there on the perimeter, and it is paying off. He's finding a big chunk of his points from three-point range. Brian gets it to go. He's got 34. Brian's confidence bucket is overflowing. Knows he can bury the pull-up J anytime he needs to. That's a hard spot to be in as a defender now, giving up that much height. Very hard to protect the rim. Here's Fisher. Here we are, Coach. The Lakers in line to sweep the Kings. A huge reason why Kobe Bryant. Another offensive outburst from Bryant. He is controlling this game. And the Kings just have no answers for him. The Kings trail by four. Passes to Christie. Here now is Weber. Ori defending. And Weber with the basket on the assist by Christie. Christie's got six assists here tonight. Powering in. Weber making the inside his. Here's Kobe. Good! Kobe for two. 38 points for Brian. A playoff best. Topping the 36 that he had in game three. Back-to-back -back games with playoff career highs. We don't see that often. This guy is special. Shaq's checked in for Los Angeles. Fox comes in for Shaw. You know, Kobe is the total package. Not just an elite scorer, but a very talented, versatile defender, too. And game three, with the Kings down 18, Mike, midway through the fourth quarter, they went to the Hackershack. Shaq went just one of six at the line on Friday, but the Kings couldn't take advantage, failing to cut into that Lakers lead. So while it was effective, the Hackershack didn't make the game closer. Timeout called the Lakers.
Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Here's Bryant. And for the first time in his career, Kobe's got 40 in a playoff game. Well, that's just a demonstration of terrific ball skills from Kobe. Avoided the defender and gets it to fall inside. You know, brick after brick after brick. I mean, that's been the story for him this quarter. I mean, he's got to bring it in down the stretch here. Shaq with the bucket. And, you know, this is a pleasant surprise. O'Neal looking to expand his game with the mid-range jump shot. It's a close game here in the fourth, and Lakers coach Phil Jackson doesn't mind this at all. Yeah, you know, Phil told us the Lakers have yet to really be challenged, and I think he might even welcome a close game. Of course, Jackson's philosophy is to prepare his team for a fourth quarter push. I love the way he got right to the rim, all the way to the basket. Didn't settle that time. Running the floor and just doing an excellent job out hustling everyone else. It's been a shootout all night. Why let up now? I say keep it going. Why indeed. Keep going to the well and get buckets. Timeout called by the Kings. Evans has checked in for Jason Williams. Horace Grant, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Nice move. Takes it inside. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Lakers leading by four. Here's Fisher, and the Lakers tack on two more. Well, it's like the defender wasn't even there. Excellent concentration from Derek Fisher. Fisher against Christie. Outside Stiakovic, scores the bucket. He's 7 for 11 and continues to look good. Three-pointers clearly the difference for them here in the second half. Tough to guard a whole team from beyond the arc. They've got it going. And that's 43. You can see it in his face. Bryant relishes the big moment. And the pass to Stojakovic. Again, Sacramento. It's not complicated or tricky. Stojakovic can shoot the ball, and that's why you trust him to knock it down late. Here's Fox. That's good. On the assist goes to Fisher. Fisher's got six assists here tonight. Fox unafraid of the big moments, relishing the opportunity to come up big there. Timeout called by the Kings. Jackson, he's checked in for the Kings. The Kings trail by five. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Here's Stojakovic. The Lakers with the rebound. Even though they came up empty, that's exactly the shot they want. They'll take that kind of look every time down the floor. Hopefully with a different result next time. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. And when you're behind in the game, that's what you've got to do. Contest every shot and get stops. Kobe against Crystal. Devox with the block. Excellent block from Devox that time. Good timing and anticipation. And it's the Kings with the ball. They trail by seven. Christie with the screen on Fisher. 152 left in the fourth quarter. One fifty-one left to play here in the fourth. 
Weber kicks to Jackson. Down to five on the shot clock. A floater, and Weber with the basket on the assist by Jackson. Jackson's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Up top, Kobe. Defended by Christie. Got it. 14 points for him in the quarter. Not his bread and butter shot, but don't leave Kobe open from out there. Kobe with the steal. There's 117 left in the game. It's in, and we're counting 29 in the half. It's obvious he's looking to continue to attack on offense so this lead can expand. And if you were hitting like he is in this one, you would be too. His efficiency has done a lot for that. Offensive rebound. It's blocked by Shaq. Love seeing O'Neal use his body to come up with those blocks. An imposing force and a pretty consistent defender as well. And that one's good from Fisher. They've turned it up a notch here during this home stretch. Yeah, saving their best basketball for when it mattered the most. That's how you secure a win. Christie the pass to Jackson. Some nice ball movement here by the Kings. Offensive rebound. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. It's very hard to keep Divots off the board. You've got to have bodies on him or that's what happens. One more shot might be all it takes here. Exactly. That might be the final nail, so to speak. O'Neal. And again, it's the Lakers. The offense very impressive tonight, creating a lead that was too large to overcome. Executed the game plan perfectly. Here's Jackson. He trains the quick shot. That kind of defense isn't going to get it done, especially when it comes to a scorer of his caliber. About three seconds between shot and game clock. That one falls. And the Lakers lead by 11. From the mid-range area, Grant's nice-looking jumper, most effective. Jackson with the bounce pass. Weber against Grant. Here's Jackson. And a great assist by Weber as that one goes in. Grant outside. Yep, it's good. And they did it, folks. Big win for the Los Angeles Lakers. Thanks in large part to Kobe Bryant, setting a new playoff career high for scoring. Well, we thought we saw a great game from Kobe in game three, getting 36 points. He was even better tonight. Just magnificent. Make it 15 consecutive wins, Clark, for the Lakers. Kevin, when Kobe plays like this, impossible to account for both him and Shaq. Good luck to their next opponent. And for us here at 2K Sports, it's been a pleasure to have you with us tonight.